Hello all traders, welcome to SusanFX1 channel. In this video, I want to talk about price action, pure price action, candlesticks and trend line and uh, power of the currency and uh, how you can use the price action skills to um, make a decision for trading. Okay, today I uh, have looked at the Finvis and um, British Pound is the strongest among all the pests. As you can see here, British Pound is gaining 37% against all others. NSD is weak, CAD is weak, Euro is weak, and the, all the others are following in the middle. Right? Let's have a look at the chart. This is um, British Pound uh, Yen, Japan Yen, and um, I'm a buyer here. I'm currently 75 pip plus on this trade, and let's talk about it. Okay? Let me clean the chart. This is a... Um, clean chart so you can see I have only one indicator here in the bottom which is a MACD I want to use it as a volume and uh, which is very important in trading uh, price action one of the key information was that the, what pair is the strongest and we know it advanced in London session that British pound is the strongest and if we look at this chart in daily what we can see if you are a daily um, trader daily chart trader so ask yourself you are a buyer or you are a seller here if i'm a daily chart trader i'm a buyer here because everything is bullish the macd volume is also to the upside let's have a look at it in four hours in four hour we can see that the price is a kind of range area here this range section okay price has not broke this top section yet but if we are a one hour chart trader what can we see here we can see that the price has been in the move to the upside and sharply going up to these highs and since these highs right here price has been in the consolidation in one hour okay and from this price we can see that the buyers uh, coming significantly in the market and pushing the market to the higher, higher side and the shape of the sellers are all weak as they go to the to the Asian session and this morning right here the buyers took the control for the buy but we are not still above this price if we go over this level so it's a very big chance that we are going to the higher prices Let's have a look at another chart, GBP odd. GBP odd, I bought it right here. If you look at it in one hour chart, price has been in the boom move, broke it down under the um, trend line, come all the way to these lows, and price has been stopped here in this price as it has done a double bottom here. We can see it here one touch and two touch and since then price just gone up and the buyers took the control here and broke this trend line to the upside and the sentiment now is to the upside so if you are one hour uh, chart trader so you are a buyer and um, let's have a look at it in 15 minute chart it's also very nice price is slightly showing everything to you that's it's going up so this was the decision for uh, this pair. Let's have a look at this one, GBP CAT. This is a late buy entry that show you that if you enter late, it's very hard to gain profit. The best entry for this pair was right here. As the price come from these lows and Hit the support here went up to these highs come to these lows and in the london session buyers with this full amount of momentum break out this level and they are going up okay but this is a late entry a very late entry and uh, but i want to keep it as i know the british pound is strong right now let's have a look at another chart GBP NSD, uh, I'm a buyer here, and the reason is that when we look at this chart in one hour, 
So the chart is telling us that the price action is to the upside. So I am a buyer and when we look at the uh, Asian section here, we can clearly see that the price from this price here in this low couldn't go lower, stopped here, go higher and higher. So the best entry for this uh, price were somewhere around this level as this candle broke it through. Okay, the problem with the indicators are that the indicators are mostly lag and uh, they are always behind the price. The, one of the best clues in the markets are the candles and the shape that are telling you what is going on. And uh, price action um, is a very good method to uh, to see the market. It's very clean. It's very pure. Everything is uh, in front of your eyes and uh, and you can see how the buyers and sellers are acting in the market, okay? As this video is about price action, I think you have to have ability to understand the price action if you do not have any indicator in your chart, you should have the ability to trade it because you don't have to rely only on indicators, okay? If I want to uh, buy here in this area, I have a reason, good reason, price action reason to buy it because I can see the price is in the bull move, the price action, and we have a breakout in this area. I can just get in here and gain some profit. So I don't have to wait for some uh, indicator to give me a arrow or a price, wait to price to uh, cut some uh, moving averages. In price action, it's just pure candles and the price. Okay, let's move on. GPCHF, you can see it's the same scenario. Uh, it's also a uh, bull. But the entry matters, best entry moment for this uh, price were somewhere around here. You can see the price has been bullish in this area. And if you copy this to this area, you can see that we have a level here and this area is all about entering the market. Okay, as price break these highs and it's starting to show the momentum. The momentum and the volume is very important this person who is buying here can be a bank, can be an institution, it's a high volume and um, this is what you can see with your eyes that it's happening, the power of the candle. This is a very strong buyer here after um, a couple of doji sellers here in decision maybe. You can see clearly that this move is not a bank move it's a retail trader move here like me and you you're pushing down banks push it higher up you're pushing the price down they're pushing it up and up and down and then suddenly they take the control right so uh, GBP USD the last one this is very nice you can see in this position we are in the five minute chart uh, to see this uh, zigzag move you can put it in 15 minutes to see it better the reason that the chart looks like this very confusing up and down jigsaw is that the uh, GBP is strong and USD is strong. These two are both strong and the price is in the constantly fight. Okay. Buyers and sellers are happy with the price in this price zone. So as long as the GBP is strong, and US is a strong price will be in this jigsaw area. If the US goes to the bottom side, so this price will shoot up if the GBP is a strong still. But right now it is very dangerous to trade a chart like this. That's why you have always to be aware of what is the trending pairs, what is the power of the pair in the market. Cannot just blindly look at the uh, GBP USD and say, okay, I think I want to buy this. If you look at this in one hour chart, what can you see? Price is bullish, but price is not going anywhere right here, right? It's very, it's not, it's not a good idea to trade two strong pairs together. As you can see, the price action also shows that. Five minute chart, you can see it slightly here. Price is not going anywhere just coming up and down, up and down, right? Euro USD, very slow. Market is very slow here. We had a move here to the upside, take out 
all the uh, buyers all right look at this in uh, closer look if you were a buyer here you bought it here buy where would you put your stop loss somewhere around here or this area or here under these weeks right so the price did run up and then sharply come down and take out all the buyers so this is not a good uh, area to trade uh, right now and yes this is uh, how i look at the uh, price action chart and how i uh, use price action in order to trade a pair i hope uh, you like this session of price action and you can uh, practice this uh, method it's awesome and um, i hope you like this video i don't have any more to say in this video for you hope you have an awesome day today if you are new to my channel subscribe please hit the like button have a nice day bye